All right. Uh, session two in this video document that I'm um, putting together for this situation that I'm going through. Um, much better day to day, although I was not able to go out and uh, I had three um, customers or partners, I should say, I'm supposed to meet I one lunch, the coffee, and up, and just to kind of a handoff on some stuff. Um, and I couldn't do it, so I, you know, I had to call a colleague. And luckily, on the lunch meeting, a colleague was gone as well, and. I told him what was going on with me. He's very understanding. <clears throat> so he ran the, the uh, lunch meeting. Um, but after I talked to him, um, and I had taken my noontime dosage of medication, uh, which... One that I could not remember last night is called. <sighs> God, I got so many. <laughs> this is crazy. Where the hell is it? Look at this. Um, let's see, this is L Prazzle Lamb, which is Xanax. Some more L Prazzle Lamb. Um, more alprazolam because I, I have to keep it with me so I have three different vials. This is the gabapentin. And aha, finally. Uh, bus pyr 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 B U S and then capital P I R lowercase O N E H C I. 10 milligrams, buspirone, buspirone, and why is the PIR capitalized? I don't know. Anyhow, somehow, maybe, that all kicked in, and um, I felt actually uh, anxiety dissipated, and um, surprisingly felt... Uh, I don't know, maybe like a normal person. Um, I wouldn't, I'd almost say happy uh, or lighter at least. Um, not consumed by fear and worry. I was able to very in focus at work. And um, I even ventured out and picked up my blood pressure medication. And what's kind of surprising, my blood pressure this morning was very good despite running out of the HCTZ. So um, maybe as a result of the reduced anxiety, mm, you know, the positive correlation, reduced anxiety, blood pressure goes down. So a better day today. Um, I didn't venture out to these appointments. Um, I didn't push it. I decided, um, you know, I can't push through it like Dr. Frank said. So, um, and boy, I mean, I'm so busy at work. I mean, the day flew by. And then I even suggested uh, to Liz that we go out to eat, and we did. And we went out to the Lariat Lodge, and um, I realized when we got there, I had forgot my phone. I had a little anxiety. Um, no, I don't know. It, it was all relative. Maybe somebody else would say that was a shit ton of anxiety. But, um, you know on the phone and then just being in there but um I functioned and and I kind of skipped over the fact that I did go out 
pick up my blood pressure medication felt good enough that um, I went to the liquor store, got a couple um, tasty um, craft beers. Um, sorry, Hondo is having a bad dream or something. Um, and then uh, because I was able to get out of the house, um, I rewarded myself with a filet o fish and um, McDonald's french fries. So that was kind of my reward for going out. Not kind of, it was. Um, so much better day to day. Now tomorrow, um, I'm one of those, um, the handoff meeting I was supposed to have because I, one meeting my colleague took care of, the other meeting I switched to a Zoom meeting and it went well. Uh, the other meeting where I actually like to give him some stuff for an event, I rescheduled for tomorrow at noon. So we'll see how that goes. I can just do the deed and drive. So, um, maybe the medication is doing it. Uh, I don't have another explanation because I was in such bad shape. So, um, medication may be doing its job. I mean, I'm on a lot. Um, three anti-anxiety medications and pretty much maxing out on the dosage of them. So I guess that's obviously the answer, Grover. And that's Louis snoring over there. Um, he had a hard day, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Um, I had hoped for a better day. It was a better day. I didn't push it too much. I went out twice, went to uh, the grocery store, the liquor store, drove through McDonald's, and then went out to eat with Liz at the Lariat, which is uh, more than I thought I would be doing at this point, considering where I was yesterday in the previous couple days where I didn't want to leave the house. Didn't want to even get the mail. Um, so, progress. Fingers crossed. Keep going this route. Um, and, uh, you know, anecdotally, Louie, come on, man, dude. I'm I'm doing a thing here, okay? You're snowing so loud, little buddy. Um, <laughs> is, you know, there for the last couple hours of work, I felt good. I mean, I felt good. Not, yeah. Um, I felt good. Um... So, um, I just wondered if that is how, you know, people without this condition, I don't want to say normal, um, but people that don't deal with anxiety feel because I felt, I don't think I've, I've rarely felt that. Happy, maybe. Um, maybe happy is not the word. Um, like I said, light or <sighs> um, felt like it, everything was okay. And um, if that's how a lot of people feel, I want more of that. Um, I don't know if I've felt like that much in my life, if ever.
So, um, let's hope for another day like that tomorrow. Let's hope that I can go meet Caleb Clark from Zunesis, get him the stuff for this uh, event. And, um, yeah, go from there. All right, ciao.